Right, what we're going to do here is we're going to show how we can use a static structure, okay, with a fixed number of spaces to build a linked list. If we do it this way, we're not going to be asking the operating system for space to record our new things. So when we do the names, we'll actually be using this structure. Okay, so we've got effectively an array of records. So this is going to be location not one. Yeah, it's a much better pen than this one. Uh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> the, the brain froze. It went, yeah, go on, go, go for it, go past eight. No, nah, couldn't. Right, okay. But this time, we have to manage the free space. Okay, so we need a pointer that records, we've got nothing in here, so we're going to put minus one for the head. The free space is going to point to zero. What I have to do, I need to know where all the free spaces are. So what I do is I create a linked list of the free spaces. Okay, so, no, what goes, I'll do it, I'll keep it simple for myself, otherwise I'm going to get myself in a mess. Okay, so what I've done is I've joined all the free spaces together. Okay, so the free list, I'll call it free list, points to location naught. What follows location naught is position one, and so on. So they're all pointing to each other. So there's a little, they're going like that. Okay, I'm not going to draw that one because it's going to ruin my diagram. <laughs> my brilliant diagram. Now I've got all these nets now, it's like someone's been stitching my diagram or something. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to add something. I'm going to add something new. Someone give me a name. Bob. Bob. I like Bob. Right. I need somewhere to store Bob, so I look at the free list, and I put Bob in at that position. That space is no longer free. Where is the next free space? One. One. How did you know that? Because it's the next one. Yeah, because it says, the link says position one. So we alter that. The head now doesn't point to nothing, it points to zero. zero. Okay, give me another name. John. John. Was that John? Right, look for my free space. Okay, the free space now is at position two, as it said there. Right. Where does that fit into the current list of names, though? Oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. I've put Bob in, but what have I put as the link for Bob? One. one. That's not right, was it? It should have been minus one when I first did it. Yeah? If I go back, so John never existed. Yeah. Yeah, it's like time travel. Maybe we're back to it. All right. So. I've got that as my list. There is nothing following Bob. So the link from Bob is minus one. Yeah? Right. We have John, so we just look for the next free space. Because my free list says one. The free list pointing to the free space. The head of the free space is at position one. Yeah? Oh, he's forgetting everything yeah. you just told his mum again. You can yeah, it's like, it's like that episode yeah. of uh, Dallas where Patrick Duffy no, no comes out of the shower and the whole last <laughs> series is, uh, was like, oh, it's just a bad dream in the shower. You got one because Bob linked to what? Maybe. No, Bob linked to mine one. Yeah, but he, Nothing. Didn't, he didn't before. No, no, he didn't because I did it wrong. Yeah, but then you haven't changed that one. Oh, God, let me start <laughs> again. <laughs> right. Should we stop the video or start? Oh, why bother? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, start again. Start again. Bob. Time. Need somewhere to put Bob. But why is it now one? <laughs> because the free list is joined up. This is the first space in the free list. You know that. You get that, yeah? Yeah. The next space is at position one. The space after that is at position two. I've just joined all these free spaces together. That's all. Okay. Using a list. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. You're happy with that? Yeah. Good. Right, so I'm going to add Bob to the free space. Okay, the free list, now I need to follow the link to see where the next free space is, and that's one. Everyone happy with that? Yeah. The head, 
which was pointing at minus one, now has to point to Bob. Right? There's nothing in the list. Right, yeah. right? So if there's nothing in the list and I've added one item, then Bob needs to point to nothing. Yeah, because there's nothing following it. Bob. And the head now points to no. I'm not worrying too much about the order I have to do this. When you're doing this for real and you write a program, when you have to do your own linked list, you've got to make sure you change these in the right order so that you don't lose the information. Because that's like a fable. Right, are we all right now? Right, let's add, I'm not going to have John because it just been back bad memories. Gertrude. Give me another name. Gertrude. <laughs> Gertrude. <laughs> Salmon. <laughs> I'll have Frodo, but not because I like Middle Earth or any of that rubbish, just because I can't be bothered. Right, so I'm going to put Frodo, I'm going to put Frodo at the free space. Okay? I need to alter the free list so that it points to the next free space, which is two. Now, now that I've put Frodo in there, I need to work out where he fits in the list. So working from the head, I need to search to see where he's going to fit. So I look at the first position, Bob's there, oh no, Bob's before Frodo. Ah, nothing follows. Okay, so Frodo needs to fit after Bob. Everyone happy with that? Yeah. So, currently, Bob was at the end of the list, and Frodo's at one. Okay, now, what I want you to do, is I want you to carry in this structure on, I want you to add the following. So I'll add, and I'm not asking you a lot for names because that's it. Sam it. Wise. No, we, uh, Sam I will do what I said I'd do. I will just choose. Elrond. Elrond. Come on. Memory. Memory. Pippin. Tony. Sam I'm going to show this to the senior team and then they'll know exactly what I'm dealing with when I'm on the team. <laughs> oh, you all shut up now. Ryu. Kieran. Stacy. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> right, you can make a start. You can make a start while I'm having to think of these names because it's tricky. It's <laughs> tricky. <laughs> It's still recorded. <laughs> there comes that! Oh, miss. Uh, think about it. That's the your voice. You've got a mortar diode. Same with your bilbo. It's fine. It's just like on the other side of the house. I want one more. You could put his real name in the title. Xanadu! Justin B. Mark. Oh, miss. Yeah, you. Yeah, well, right. Come on, add these into the list. Make sure that you work this properly, and then we're then going to take some out and see what effect that has. And we'll add a few more in. No, I want you to have this on pieces of paper so you've got it to follow. It's not easy. You've got to cast your bob out. There's nothing to stop you making that a little bit wider and then just crossing through to show the progression of the changes. Okay. Well, you got that five. It's easy. The addition stage is easy. Just they're going to go in the next five spaces, obviously. But it all then needs to tie up in the right order. Got to be in the right order. Does the head always stay zero? No, because it's going to change, isn't it? Depending on who you add. Why is the, the head points to the first item. Why is the link of minus one from Frodo? Because there's nothing following Frodo. He's the end of the list. Okay. Yeah? Oh, is that what was troubling you there? Well, I'm thinking if you were going to put Arthur in there, yeah. but you'd put up at zero and you move Bob no. Frodo down. The whole point of the linked list is we don't do lots of moving around. You just move the list. You just move the list pointers. You're only manipulating pointers, not moving the data. That's why it's quicker. We'll talk briefly about what this would look like if we were doing it in an array. And it's a pain. <coughs>
I wish I knew how to pause that camera. Gallium. 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 Yeah, I couldn't think of another name, weirdly. Gallium, it's an element, element, isn't it? I don't know what. Yeah, I think it's a metal. Yeah, we use it. We use it in um, secret. You must. Yeah, it's it's, it's a gallium metal. arsenide. We it's, use um, it. Hey. It's expensive, though. Yeah, it's a liquid. I suggest it's a perfectly oh. good name for middle earth, and you wouldn't use it. <laughs> I've got principles. I've got Come principles. On. What are you looking? You're just being populist, <laughs> Perry. What? He's just being populist to talk about that hobby and stuff. Have you ever read the book? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm over halfway through the second one. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a dyslexic and I'm reading. Well, that's good. <laughs> no, that's a good thing. <laughs> right, I'll give you another another couple of minutes, then we'll just draw this up. <laughs> You've got to maintain the order, otherwise it don't work. <laughs> To check it, just go from your head and see if the links take you alphabetically in order. If they don't, you've cocked it up on you. Does the head always start at zero? No. The head's going to point to the first item, which should be Ahmed. Shouldn't it? Where's your head? I need to know what your head and three point is. Oh, okay. Right. So you're saying four. So Ahmed, then we go to North, Bob, then six, Gallium, Yeah, that's four. No, no, no. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I start. Go to Ahmed. You say, follow with Ahmed, he's North, Bob. You say, follow with Bob, Gary. Gallium, Gary. Gallium, Gary. Gallium, Gallium, What's that? Grab it. Here's what it's going to next. Yeah, yes, we'll break it up the corner. Yeah, you link. You, well, no, you add it. Where you need to make it. You have to change the link. Keep them in the right order. That's what you got. <laughs> But well, you put it in first, you say, wherever the three is, what do you do? I'll try to do it. Right. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Goes to Sylvia. You said two. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm. Right, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to quickly build this. Okay. Right. So my first one is Sylvia. So... All I do to start with, whack it in the free space, so Sylvia, adjust the free space pointer. Right, now I've got a search to find out where Sylvia goes. Start at the head, right, Bob, after Bob we go to one, which is Frodo. Ooh, Frodo's at the end. Sylvia's going to come after. So change Sylvia's link to the null and change Frodo's link to Sylvia. Okay, so that's Sylvia in. Right, Karen. Put it in the free space, which is at three. Alter my pointer. Okay, now we need to find out where Karen goes. So start our search. Bob, then to Frodo, then we get to Sylvia. Ah, so Karen goes between Frodo and Sylvia. So Frodo needs to point to Karen, and Karen needs to point to Sylvia. So if we do it in the right order, say, right, well, Fro Frodo currently pointed to Sylvia. So let's change Karen's pointer to that. Then we can make Frodo oops, point to Karen. Okay, so just double check it. No, it's Bob. Bob says go to Frodo.
Frodo says go to Karen. Karen says go to Sylvia. Sylvia says don't go anywhere. I'm at the end. Okay. Move on. We've got Ahmed. Put it in at four. Update the free list. Do a search. So starting at the head to get Bob. Whoa, hang on a minute. Ahmed's before Bob. So the head pointed to north. So that's where Ahmed needs to point to. North. Because that follows Ahmed. And then the head could point there. Yeah? Everyone happy with that? Uh -huh. Carrying on. Ty goes in the free space. Alter the free space pointer. So it's pointing to the next free one. Right. Search for Ty. So we start at the head. No. Bob. After that. Then we go to Frodo. Then we go to Karen. Then we go to Sylvia. Oh, Ty's going to come after that. So put down minus one. Copy that from Sylvia. And make Sylvia point to Ty. Why is Karen two? It comes after Frodo. Yeah, exactly. No. Two is pointing to what follows. Sylvia followed Karen. Because two is the location it's linked to. Two is the location that comes next. Yeah? Okay, the last one, Gallium. <laughs> you could call someone Gallium. If you wanted to, you'd have to be a, some sort of celebrity. <laughs> okay, so I whack Gallium in, put the free list update down. Right, search for Gallium. Now, if we understand the alphabet, we should be able to get this right. So let's just do it on our fingers. Right, so we start with uh, Ahmed, no, G comes after A. Uh, go to Nort, I'm just following the links. Bob, no, G comes after Bob. Bob says go to Frodo. The last time I looked at the alphabet, G came after F. I'm, I'm not going to single you out, Gears, there. <laughs> right, if you are prone to making stupid mistakes, I am exactly the same. You know, the examiner's not going to laugh much. If you write yourself, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I would rather, it's very easy to cock these questions up and they're easy. I, think it's a I did that last year, I very well let down the side of the page. Yeah, well we did it with the hexadecimal, didn't we? I'd rather make, make myself feel foolish than cock up a question that was easy, because I didn't get the alphabet right. Okay, so... We get to Frodo, that comes before Gallium, move to the next one which is Karen. K comes after G, so we've found our insert point. Okay, so what we need to do, Frodo needs to point to Gallium. Okay, currently Frodo points to Karen. So Gallium needs to point to Karen, and Frodo can now point to Gallium. Okay, and we've added them in. And we've got our list. Right, what I want you to do is to look at how I want you to remove uh, in this order, get rid of Sylvia and get rid of Ahmed. But do it in that order. Okay, I want you to remove them. So you first I've got to search for where they are in the list. And then you've got to make adjustment to the pointer to skip them. So effectively, when we had the dynamic one, we had that structure. And what we want to do is if we want to get rid of that one, we just point past them. So you change just the link pointer. But you have to add them to the free list as well, in our case. You know what, Richard? So just try and get rid of Sylvia first. Just stop after you've done Sylvia and we'll go through that one. It's so hot in here. Yeah, it will, because you're going to need to add Sylvia back to it, aren't you? Yeah, the, the quick way is to add it to the start, yeah. <coughs> Make sure it still points to the rest of the free ones. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you'll lose all your free space. It's 19 minutes. Oh, is it? 
Hmm? What, he's been going for 90 minutes? Yeah. Still. <sighs> Right, okay, I'm going to remove Sylvia. Put you out of your misery. Okay, so I'm going to search first. Right, so starting at the head. Okay. Would it be wrong to just try and search this and find Sylvia? Why? Because it would take forever. No, it wouldn't. It'd be very quick. If you had a long time. <laughs> right, no, there's a worse problem. If we're going to do this, what do we need to know? Yeah, what links to Sylvia? We don't have that information, do we? Sylvia's ignorant. It's a bit like a hyperlink on a web page. The web page doesn't know what's linked to it. Okay. So if we scan to here, yeah, we could find Sylvia. We could add it back to the free list, but we would break the list we've got. Okay. So we have to follow the link list through. You can do what we call doubly linked lists, where you have a link to the previous. But that gets even 